thanks everybody for tuning back into Border City Rock Talk. We get the best news and recent news and great interviews from great interviewees with a comedic touch. Today I have somebody that is on the charts again, who has not left the charts. Her name is Biff Naked. And before we speak to Biff, um, I will just let you know, Eric, uh, when I asked you to send me those uh, pics of Naked, um, I didn't mean this one. Anyways, uh, glad to have you, Biff. How are you doing today? <laughs> it's really nice to see you. How are things going? Uh, not too bad. I mean, you know, well, you're living in Canada, so you know what we're experiencing. But I mean, we have to live day to day and, you know, that sort of thing, right? It's exciting. These are definitely interesting times we're living in. But as long as everyone's happy and healthy, I'm, you know, I always say, do the best you can. Yeah. So speaking of your name, everybody always asks, like, it's so stupid. I can't believe these people. Everybody <laughs> knows that your real name isn't Biff. It's a short no. form for Mil Milfred. <laughs> Is that right? Well, not exactly. Oh, okay. um, I yeah no Biff, okay. Biff is just a nickname I've had since high school. Yeah, My I, name is Beth. I know that, and I know that <laughs> your, last, your last name is accurate. Naked. You're born in New Delhi, so naked is actually a common name in in Indian India. Correct? <laughs> no, what? actually, naked was. Uh, my punk rock stage name that I was christened with when I was what? 17 or 18. Oh, interesting. Why do, yeah, I knew that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so before we get on to the exciting stuff you've been doing, um, um, I don't know what water you drink, but you don't look any different than when I saw you in Sault Ste. Marie at Sioux College about 30 years ago. <laughs> Bless your heart. Oh, well, I'm, I'm being honest. So um, actually, speaking of living for today and like we're talking about, um, you know, you had that great hit, I Love Myself Today. So how are you feeling today? Like, is, do you live that standard where you, 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 every day is just a great day? I love, I love it. And is that the way you like, you live? Yes, even if it's not for me personally, I feel yeah. like um, if I'm on social media specifically, I'm, I'm not going to be that person who's ever negative. I'm always going to be positive and grateful. And happy. And so every day is yeah. a day for Biff, correct? Yeah. Well, if it can be, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I was trying to lead you in, but you didn't get it. I was going to ask, oh. you, why haven't you remixed it? So I live by, I love myself every day. Yeah, I should, you know, I actually oh. should because, uh, yeah, every day we have a chance, don't we? Okay, I'm on that one. We'll let it go. Ah, <laughs> so, sorry. Anyways, so, anyways, so um, what have you been doing um, over the lockdown? Uh, let's go. Let's start with that. Well, we've been working on a new record for uh, two years now. We were yeah. going to release it in 2020, but the pandemic hit in the summer yeah. of unrest and basically um, racial uprising and social justice was just more important to me than releasing music so we waited right. and then in 2021 as you know we started off the year not only with a lockdown but a stay-at-home order um, so we couldn't really do what we wanted to do um, as far as studio stuff and, and promoting a new release. So we waited again. Yeah. And then, uh, and here we are in 2022. And finally, because we've been tinkering with it so long, <laughs> uh, we're looking forward to releasing a really full uh, and rocking record this year. And it's, it's uh, tentatively titled Still Champion? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Um, and how many tracks are going to be on that? I've read some certain um, pieces that it's going to be an extended, extended uh, album. Is that correct? You're going to have a lot of tracks? At this point, we might as well. So, I mean, who knows? Yeah. I mean, the sky's the limit. And the, the way it is with technology today, we're not limited anymore. It's really, no. it's really limitless what artists can do now. Yeah, you can do it like a lot of the people I've talked to. It's like, um, I mean, they're so comfortable recording. Well, a lot of them will say, I'd rather be in a studio room with all the guys, get the energy and the vibe and the social. But some of the guys, especially said, I think it's guitar players, because they can go into a room and, and, you know, lay down that solo when they're in the mood to do so. But some people work under pressure. So as you're saying this, correct, you can do it from home. You can have your drummer do it from home and you can all sync. And then the main yeah. thing is, 
to touring. So now you're able to start touring. That's right. That's exactly right. Are you hitting? Oh. We're hoping to. I mean, we had a show scheduled for January that has already been canceled and postponed. Yeah. Um, we've got three shows in February that are all in British Columbia. Mm -hmm. So far, those are still a go. Uh, so we'll be going to a Victoria area called Sydney. We'll be going to Lake Country, BC, and of course to Vancouver to the rickshaw. Um, yeah. And looking forward to playing more shows uh, as the spring unfolds and in summer. We're hoping to do a national tour. Are you are you are you based out of Toronto right now? Are you living in uh, in Ontario? Yes, we moved here after living in Vancouver for thirty years. Wow. We moved here, and uh, and I've just I love it so much. We live on the lake, and I can't tell the difference between the lake and the ocean. It's so big. The lakes are all so big. Well, um, the, the oceans have salt in the water, so there's. Um... Well, they always say that over here you can smell the salt in Lake Ontario just because oh. it comes from all the roads. I never, That's what they say from all the roads you can smell I the salt. Hear that? That is so cool. Um, yeah, wow. Um, so, have you thought about maybe tour? There's a lot of not to get political, but there are a few states across the river. And well, I'm on the border, as you know, in Ontario. In Michigan, in, not Michigan necessarily. Well, actually, I think they're pretty open, but Florida and Texas, and, and you have a worldwide following. So, have you guys thought of shows there? Because they're not going to really get canceled at this point. Like, I think. No, they won't. And, and we've played many times in Dallas and Houston and uh, Corpus Christi in Texas. And then wow. in Florida, we've been to Orlando and Tampa before. Um, yeah, you know, anywhere that'll have us, we'd be happy to tour. I like touring in America, obviously. We like touring in Europe a lot. Mm. Um, but Canada's my home, and uh, I'm comfortable here, and I love uh, the audiences here. I feel like I know everyone. I've been touring in Canada since I was 18. Yeah. Um, so we always start here, and we feel safe at home. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, sure. Yeah, but, um, we'll see how it all goes. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, if you're in Ottawa, I'm not too sure today, but... <laughs> It's um, it's just crazy. Um, anyways, I'll get off that topic. <laughs> so, um, where was I going to go? Oh yeah, so you're born in India. You've lived all over the place. Uh, you lived in the states, and I, I heard you were a doctor. Um, well, of letters, and those are both both of my degrees are honorary degrees from universities. Uh, one is from the University of Fraser Valley, and the other one is from Simon Fraser University. Uh, and, you know, um, I can look at, my, my dad was a dentist. He was a professor of dentistry. Yeah. Uh, so for him, it's a big deal because I dropped out of university in my first year to go on tour. Yeah. Uh, so to be able to get these honorary doctorates made my parents very happy. Well, that's awesome. Um, yeah, so what I, I, I had heard you were a doctor and then your other parents, um, I'm thinking of another word, maybe I meant... Uh, adopted <laughs> i am adopted okay. but i do i do have honorary doctorates too but being adopted is uh here in um my birth mom actually lives in ontario even though she had me in new delhi and she's only 15 and a half years older than i am no way so being being able she to visit be with about, her is cool she must be about 50 then <sighs> You're so nice. No, I'm, um, I'm being honest. It's actually, very everybody, cool. Everybody that watches this interview is going to say, like, I mean, you don't age. I mean, ah, you, you it's, know what? it's all lighting. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so, lighting. Um, so you've done everything. You've acted. You've uh, written. Um, what gives you the, the, the go, go, go to always be busy? Uh, I think that anybody, probably like yourself or anyone you know who's a creative person, person we're kind of just uh always doing things different things yeah. um you know being creative every day is something that is always interesting and fun you know yeah. whether you're doing cartooning or writing a short story or working in the studio my my biggest love is performing yeah more than anything else i'm a performer before i'm an artist and uh that's basically my art you know, the stage has always been the medium that I like working in. So yeah. not being able to perform has been really hard over the last few years. So I hope to get back to it full time. Yeah, for sure. So when's the next show? Is it um, what's the date of the show that's upcoming that hasn't been 
jinxed yet. Um, I think it was. Um, the, so we have uh, our shows in BC, which are in February, yeah. but That's hopefully right. there's one coming in March, hopefully. Um, and in June, we just got announced June 18th in Burlington oh, uh, nice. at a festival there. So we're very excited about that too. That would be awesome. And speaking of yeah. festivals, uh, you were part of the Lilith uh, Fair years yes. ago. Um, <laughs> do Tell some of the viewers, I've got a big reach now, like, all over Algoma. No, I'm just kidding. We love it. <laughs> but, um, uh, tell some of the people that you know know who you are from you, maybe your TV or your um, other endeavors, but weren't aware you're part of that great, great uh, um, time in history and, and who was a part of it. And do you remain friends with any of the other uh, females uh, that were performing at the time? Well, I mean, Sarah McLaughlin and her team kind of uh, dreamt up and created Lilith Fair as a platform for female artists. At that time, it was kind of difficult to get um, on a bill with other females. And I knew it in a, probably on 10 uh, compared to a lot of those artists because I was trying to get on the bills in the rock music circles. There weren't mm -hmm. a lot of other females. So to be kind of cast in this um, amazing... Uh, vision that she had for Lilith Fair. It was artists like Cheryl Crow and Suzanne Vega and, and Sarah McLaughlin, Indigo Girls. I mean, it was, you know, I, I felt like we were the only uh, band that had marshals and motorcycle boots. Um, I felt a little bit intimidated because all of these other women, in my opinion, were very accomplished, mm -hmm. um, accomplished artists and songwriters. So, you know, I was a young artist at the time, and it was an amazing opportunity. Um, so we were able to tour all over the States with Lilith Fair. And the same summer we did Lilith Fair, I was going back and forth between those dates and opening for the cult uh, in America and also doing the Warp Tour. Yeah. So it was like having to shift gears um, every week and, uh, you know, kind of tone it down or, uh, or raunch, raunch it up. So it was, yeah. it was a lot of fun. It was a busy, a busy time. Yeah, you're very diverse in your music. I was listening to your uh, re, uh, latest single, um, Broke Into Your Car, and it's got yeah. kind of a really cool techno kind of dance vibe. Am I right? Yeah, yeah definitely. It's a fun song, and, and that's what it's supposed to be. I've been very lucky over the years being able to be a little bit eclectic on every record and use different styles. I mean, like anybody, I like all styles of music. Yeah. And um, and to be able to kind of have production that is a nod to uh, a dance kind of theme was uh, was a real blessing for this song because this song is about um, you know trying to get the attention of your crush basically. Yeah. Well, you so uh, I was crush. happy with that. You, What's that? You, you found your crush because you're you're married him. So uh, yes, I, but, yes, I did. Did you write that song? Third, before third time's the charm. Third time's the charm. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, not necessarily. I mean, the song is kind of, you know, it's a bit metaphoric. Obviously, I don't want to encourage anyone to break the law and yeah. break into a car. But, <laughs> um, you know, it's about leaving mementos yeah. uh, to, to kind of uh, spark the interest of your of your love interest or your paramour. Yeah, you, you don't mean something like, you know, you know, climbing up somebody's bedroom window and, and leaving uh, no. letters. <laughs> no okay. don't do that <laughs> yeah. so i'll put it i'll put it out across the screen i'll put no stalking not that's to, right yeah not, not to be know. taken literally so um i mean i'm looking back in your bio just to refresh my memory and one thing i remember years ago noticing like obviously you're talented but desmond childs like that guy that, that's just to get a person of that that name just to be attached to you must be, must have just, did that kind of break everything when people realized, wow. I don't know. You know, it was a really good opportunity for me as a young artist to even meet someone like Desmond Child, never mind, be able to write a song with him. Yeah. And, uh, and obviously it was, I love myself today. Mm -hmm. um, and he, he's amazing. I mean, we've always been huge fans of, of him over the years and of course all, all the bands that he's performed in and, and been in himself but not just that but all the artists that he works with like yeah. you know my uh my partner snake is uh the the world's biggest kiss fan and kiss collector yes and um you know desmond had written 
some of our favorite songs with Paul Stanley, for example. And it's just yep. like his, his um, writing ability and reach, all the artists that he's written with, um, just everyone from Ricky Martin to like anyone you can yes. think of, you know, it's just, yeah. he's amazing. He is just the, probably the most talented songwriter I've ever met. He's up there and there's just, since you're bringing that up, I thought I'd segue to um, you know, Elton John, what a great performer, so singer, but his songs are mostly written by Bernie Tilpin. Yeah, very interesting, for sure. Yeah, very, very interesting. So you're speaking of you toured with the cult. So, you know, I mean, that's kind of my cliche music genres, like, you know, kind of the cult, Maiden, Priest, yeah. Doc, and Def Leppard and stuff. Um, but I am well-rounded and I'll, I, I love everything. But um, how was it with touring with Ian? Amazing. Yeah. You know, amazing. Um, I've toured with him twice, once when it was the Holy Barbarians, when I was a really young artist, we toured with the Holy Barbarians in America. Yeah. And then the cult tour um, was the same summer we did Lola's Fair. And then later on, I would work with Billy Duffy again yes. on a, a project uh, called Bodog Battle of the Bands that we did with him and uh, John Lydon, also known as uh, the, the famous uh, Sex Pistols front man. Yes. Um, so anyway, it's just, uh, you know, I feel really lucky. Mm -hmm. uh, to uh, always have an opportunity to work with um, these people who are our heroes, you know, they're, they're our heroes and um, just to be able to meet them, never mind work with them has been just a real blessing for me. That's awesome. So where can people uh, check out to well, obviously YouTube's a good one to check out your new single. Um, what's your website uh, Biff, for people to go and just get ready for that new album to be released? And when oh, you well, anyone can go to biffnaked.com okay. and find me on Hero Medicine Records website, or they can find me um, on social media. Obviously, I'm on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, or just do a search, you know, Google or Safari or whatever your choice is and yeah. search Biff Naked. Hopefully, it's, hopefully it's not porn that comes up. Hopefully, it's just me and my little, <laughs> my little social media. But, you know, the word naked used to yeah, uh, yeah. tend to elicit a lot of weird you got a lot Link, of attention in the years. Do you, do, you, do, do you sign things as that? Because technically, you know, when you sign things and people say, I need your signature, you can use an X as long as you use it consistently. Have you done that? Or you oh, just, interesting. That's very interesting. Well, it's true. It's, it's law. You can do it. So my, an uncle told me that 40 years ago, and I know by law, like, and especially now when they ask you to sign something, you just scratch it because A, you're doing it consistently, and B, everybody's on camera. Yes. So. That's right. Isn't that remarkable? Yeah, those are the times we live in. Uh, yeah, they, they are uh, interesting for sure. So who are you listening to these days? Is there anybody you'd uh, uh, want to make a shout out that people should get on board with? Any Canadians in particular? Um, who do I really love in Canada? Gosh, so many people. My buddy Jan Arden is putting out a new record. Just okay. came out. And, um, you know, she is an amazing human being. Uh, I was lucky enough to meet her, um, I don't know, almost 25 years ago now. And um, like me, she's a dog lover, an animal lover, yes. and um, just uh, a really a really great person and a great girl. She's uh, been a, a great mentor for me over the years. And yeah, I would tell everybody to go listen to her new record. It's, it's just wonderful. And Tim Hicks. Tim Hicks. Yeah. Where do I know that name? Tim Hicks is a country artist. And he has a voice that is one of those, one of those voices, like it's timeless. He has the most warm and perfect uh, male voice. And then it, his, uh, his music really uh, uplifts me when I, when I listen to him. He's a great guy. And uh, I hope everyone goes and, and checks him out. That's awesome. Uh, just a couple more quick things. Uh, coffee or tea? I love tea. I drink tea all winter long. I'm obsessed with this tea that is like anything with turmeric in it. Okay. Uh, you know, all these nor like normal brands are now marketing all these type of chais. You know, it's popular. And they have turmeric chai. Tetley makes one. And I think stash teas make one. Um, but brush your teeth afterwards because turmeric is very staining. It'll turn everything yellow. Really? Um, have you ever tried chaga tea? Um, like mushroom? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's um, really I good. probably have and didn't know it, but no, I haven't made it myself. You got to check it out. There's a chaga mint, chocolate chaga mint. It's so good. But um, Oh, who yeah. makes it? 
So um, are the Sioux Greyhounds going to win the uh, Ontario Hockey League Championship this year? Yes. Yes. You know Support. D, D. Snyder said the same thing. Very cool. He would know. Yeah, he would know because I told That's him right. in the interview to say that. He would know. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks for your time, Biff. Um, we're going to uh, definitely uh, look forward to seeing you on the road. And Thank you. Um, one more thing. If you can just reach over to your left and just point down. To my left, this way? Yeah, down. And point down. Right there, right there. Right where Biff is pointing. Keep your finger there. Hit that subscribe button, guys, so you can uh, get some more uh, interviews and some great interviewees like I just had with uh, Biff Naked and check out her new single um, on YouTube. And looking forward to see. Oh, do you have an anticipated rough time when you're going to release the album? I always say when the spirit moves me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Probably, hopefully, summer or late well, summer. A lot of artists right now I've found that are releasing singles. Yeah. Because um, it's almost like a trend because you can focus on a single here and there. There's so much so right. much social media. Yeah. Throwing out 12 uh, tracks on an album. You know what I mean, I think the trend is that way. So, anyways, yes. thanks for your time. And um, we look forward to seeing you on, <laughs> on the road. And when you're coming through the zoo, don't hesitate to stop by. I certainly will be stopping by and saying hi to you. All right. Thanks, Beth. <laughs>